Lowering your car may make it stand out at the car show or the next cruise in, but will it handle better? Does a lowered car really handle better than a car at its stock ride height? Hi, I'm Sean with Summit Racing. Join us as we separate the facts from the myths and answer the question, does a lowered car always handle better? Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our latest videos. Let's start with a basic understanding of automotive suspension components. Starting with the springs, their job is to support the weight of the vehicle and ultimately control the ride height. Next in the suspension are the shock absorbers, or just shocks to keep it short, and the shocks help control the movement of the spring, so that when you hit a bump, your car doesn't keep bouncing up and down, and your tires stay in contact with the road. Then, to keep the tires in place under your car are a set of arms and links called control arms. These help maintain your suspension geometry while the car is traveling down the road. Finally, there are usually sway bars, and they help transfer the suspension movement from one side of the car to the other side. These bars help prevent excessive lean while going around a corner. Changing any of these components will affect how your car handles, how the ride feels, and tire wear. When considering lowering your car, you must keep all of these components in mind. So how does lowering your car help with handling? Well, now that we have a basic understanding of the various suspension components, we will now investigate the nugget of truth that is within this myth. The driving factor behind this myth is center of gravity and its effect on body roll. The higher up the center of gravity is on a vehicle, the more likely there's going to be excessive body roll and the vehicle won't be as responsive while cornering and the handling will feel unpredictable. For example, a truck or SUV has a much higher center of gravity than a sports car. Therefore, a truck or SUV is more susceptible to body roll, or even worse, rolling over, during a high-speed maneuver. Moving the center of gravity lower in any vehicle will reduce body roll and increase the response of the steering inputs and the handling will be more predictable. Now, this is only true if nothing else changes in the suspension. However, it isn't quite that simple. So how does lowering a car hurt handling? As we mentioned previously, there are many components in a vehicle suspension that must work together, and changing any of these components will affect how your car handles. A lot of engineering and testing went into designing your car's factory suspension system. It was originally designed to be a balance of handling and ride quality. Even on factory performance cars, there's considerable thought put into things like noise, harshness, and vibration. If you install a set of lowering springs without checking the rest of your components, this could have a negative effect on the overall handling and drivability of the vehicle. With a shorter and stiffer lowering spring, the overall movement of the suspension has been limited from its original design. Your shocks aren't tuned to the different spring rate, and the length of the shock may be too long. The control arms and the steering links now have a different angle and may result in poor suspension geometry, unpredictable steering, and excessive tire wear. So how do you properly lower your car? Once you decide on your ride height and what you plan on doing with your car, you must consider every aspect of the suspension to achieve the results that you desire. As an example for what is required to properly lower a car, let's take a look at this 67 Camaro. From the outside, the car sits very nicely and has an aggressive look to take on the next autocross competition with ease. However, what we can't see is the years of testing and tuning that the owner invested to achieve the handling that he desired, let alone all the parts that were changed to do so. What started off as an idea has developed into a complete RideTech coilover conversion, RideTech four-link kit, a Detroit Speed subframe, and a host of other components. Each of these components were carefully selected to achieve the handling and drivability that the owner desired. So if you are looking to achieve competition level handling in your own car, your suspension build may end up being very similar to what is equipped on this 67 Camaro. However, not everyone plans on taking their car to an autocross. And if this is the case for you, and you're looking to lower your car just about an inch or two, then lowering springs with shocks designed for a lowered suspension could be the solution for you. Are you looking for some ride height adjustability that's more performance oriented? then you may want to upgrade to a set of coilovers. A good set of coilovers will also give you the ability to adjust the shock valving to the road conditions and vehicle use. With this type of adjustability, 
you can expect to upgrade your control arms and sway bars to allow for the alignment to be adjusted with your ride height. So does a lowered car really handle better? As long as you consider your entire suspension when lowering your car, your handling should improve. No matter which components you choose, you must always check your alignment and suspension travel. Here at Summit Racing, not only do we offer a complete line of suspension components to help you lower your car, but we also offer a variety of items to keep your alignment correct and the tools to check your alignment. Please contact our knowledgeable sales team and visit our website. We look forward to being a part of helping you make your car look and handle its best.